Hi. How y'all doing? I agree. It does kind of look like a, a... Is it a fruit by the foot? Or is it a fruit roll-up? Hmm. Alright. So, I think I'm just gonna get into it. I think I posted everywhere that I'm live. It's called Tinsel. Huh. So I guess it's the Christmas theme. Hey Vincent. Uh, hey Scott. Heart of Black. Good to see you guys. I'm trying to think of how I want... I don't know. I was noticing when I'm not streaming and I'm just drawing on my own, I have my tablet a lot more in front of me. But it's kind of hard to do when you're streaming. Oh, I'm like <laughs> wrestling my uh, tablet stand. <laughs> Keepers? <sighs> I noticed the Android gal with the lighting today changed. Do you have to put a layer on top of everything? And then erase out the light areas. I'll show you. Totally changed? I don't know if it totally changed, but... I'll, I'll show you. Oh. It was an angry Avra. He flew from my tablet back to his cage. You wanna come back? He ain't interested. <laughs> there is a multiply. Sorry, I'm like just still trying to figure out a good position. I feel like I always struggle with this when I'm streaming. That'll do. Also, whoa. I was just curious. I started guessing on how you approach because it looks cool. Well, thank you. Um, I'll pull it up. Do, do, do. If I can find my mouse. All right, so. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, thank you so much, Solo Switch. Um, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for the 100 bits. I think it should go smoothly, but we'll see. I have to start mo the move stuff tomorrow. So pretty much after I'm done... Oh, Angie Bird is back. Pretty much uh, after I'm done streaming today, I have to, like... At least put away my lights, my camera, um, get all that packed. Clean Abra's cage, drain that bottom tank. Um, clean my other tank. It'll, it'll be a lot, but it should be good. <laughs> but thank you. Um, I tend to work very additively instead of cutting out the areas of light, so it messes with my brain. So, cold burger art. Do I still have a shout out for Cold Burger? It's so net, or is it so net? You're like glowy. And there's a spotlight kind of on it. Uh, does that work? It don't. 
okay, well, Holtberger is a really good artist, and they kind of taught me this, like, um, method. I think that's the color I was originally going to go, but then I changed it to, like, this. See, that's without any of it. Hey, call me Bijou. How are you? You like the changes? Thank you. It looks cool. Yeah, so what I did is I just put her in like the like lighting. Streamlabs is out of the stream. What the heck, Streamlabs? One second. Avra, you're kind of in my way. I'm going to sign in. Nice to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you, too. Uh, also, hey, Zomper. Call me BG. Thank you so much for subscribing. I feel like it, it had been a minute since I've seen you, so happy you're here. Also, the lights are incredible. I'm glad you think so. Um... Do you know, like, what causes the bot to sometimes not be in the chat? Streamlabs. <laughs> it's on their end? Okay. Alright, well, so... What I did is I did a a mask so it's set to color dodge on top of the multiply because i've asked um cold burger i'm like okay well why don't i just like hold on why don't i just like erase the like the multiply layer you know but they said it's kind of how the light works with the shadow and that's kind of why instead of just erasing out it's better to instead set everything to the multiply and then do the color dodge on top that makes sense <laughs> also hey mb i know i had to disconnect it from my twitch and reconnect it before i just made sure to log in on mine i don't know why it was like not logged in but it is now. I assume it's just because uh, it just shows the midtones and not actually the lit area. Uh, kind of. I think it's just because the light isn't interacting with the um, multiply. If you um, hold on. if you don't uh, use the color dodge. Like, it's instead just showing the local colors, which I guess wouldn't make sense, right? So it's better to have, like, the light. Yes. Because it's like... That's the colored or that's the color dodge on top of the uh of the local colors. Samus with the blonde hair. Yeah. I can see that. Somebody else mentioned I think Widowmaker. But I assume that's just because like the uh long hair ponytail and then like the back design. But yeah, I mean, I found this to be like kind of a game changer for my art. I don't know if I want it to be that bright, but but I have it on right now so I could like see and separate out my shapes because I I did do a mock up in Portrait Studio and that's what I got. So now I'm just trying to emulate that.
And then I like the Android milk. <laughs> Alright, but I don't want to work on this one uh, just yet. I think I want to do some sketching. And this picture was quite inspiring, so I'd like to do that. Because we're now in the eight, like the phase of this picture where I just need to shade it now. And like do the final little like little touches here and there. But since all the main elements are there, I think I could just like, you know, work on something else for a little bit. It is going to be a Ramona pose. Can you, can't you see it? The mouth. Perfect. I'm in mindless rendering right now, too. Yeah. That's fine. Like, I think that that's like a fairly comfortable date. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling more in like the mood to like just be creative, I guess. Not have to like think of all the planes and the shapes. I don't know. I know, right? It's been too cool to see. I'm not really... I don't know. I feel like I need to get into my flow. Ah. See... I think my plan is, Halo Mateo, we will, um... I will switch over to probably using Streamlabs... Not Streamlabs. Stream Elements as, like, our main bot. I just need to, like, do that. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, you're doing that right now with Nightbot? Oh, like, setting up an alternate, uh, bot? Let me switch. It didn't work. There we go. And then you get to see the empty cat bed. We got a bird instead. And you'll find a picture of Ramona. Found an old picture that we started and never finished this year. I really could kick myself over that because it, it looks really cute. I should have done something with it other than just like abandoning it. I'll show y'all. I have it pulled out. I do. Mm -hmm. Able to change the name to be bot. <laughs> Awesome bot. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. Uh, Y'all, I have sad news. It's not really sad. But I saw the new Matrix movie. <laughs> I won't talk about it, but... <laughs> I'll do y'all a courtesy. If you were thinking about seeing it, don't see it. Especially if you like The Matrix, don't go see it. Sad. <laughs> it was. I don't want to talk about it really, but like, I don't know. 
I feel like doing a kindness to people is to say just, just don't go see it. You will end up wasting time if you go see that movie. Uh, Kaysom, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Fusion Tech, who's not here? Oh man, you're in your sixth month. Your freeloader privileges are staying strong. Yep. Um. I... I would agree the first one is obviously the best, but I liked all three of the old ones, and... Um... I love the Animatrix, and I watched them all right before I went and saw the new movie, and I'm like, well, <laughs> that sucks. But, I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all other than it was just... I don't know, shockingly bad? Oh, this is the one picture I found that I never finished. No, you weren't, but that's, I guess, how it was. I still actually haven't found the other one picture I was looking for. Maybe I'll leave it. One second. Where did I put it? Personal. Personal. Okay. Okay. Uh, do they not? You set yourself up for that? I know. <laughs> it was really... Is quite a letdown. I feel like I kind of wish I would have treated it how I treated, um, like the Hellboy movies that came out a little while ago because I really like Hellboy and I love the, uh, the old, like, I can't remember what they're all called, but the older, um, Hawaii movies with Guillermo del Toro directing them. Those were so good. And then they made a new one. And I'm like, I like the actor, but the fact that, like, I don't know, there was the dispute on whether or not to not have Guillermo del Toro direct it and continue his story. And then because of that, Ron Perlman and Doug Jones didn't want to be in the movie. I was like, that's a. I don't know, that's a yikes for me. And so uh, I made that decision to not go see it, but then I'm like, well, Keanu Reeves is in it, so... I go, I feel like I should go see it, you know? I'm pretty optimistic, and I feel like maybe I have semi-low standards sometimes. Like, a movie. I don't know, dude. That's the old picture. I feel like she needs an outfit change. Because she's being a, like, I don't know. I usually think of like the animes where their outfits don't change. Are you gonna jump on my face again? This outfit is great, though. It is good, but... I don't know. She's gotta change it up a little bit. Never understood why they wouldn't... Like, Yamal del Toro. He had... I guess an argument, kind of, with uh, Mike Bignola? At least from what I understood. I don't actually know. I think that's what I read. Um, Like, they were upset that it wasn't, like, true Hellboy. Like, it wasn't following... Uh, the comics. And so, you know. How it went, I guess. 
our nice set. Thank you. That's kind of her look, is that she sits out in the sun more than she should. All right, I think I'm going to just grab a screenshot of this and then close all these because I don't really want them open. You cannot relate to this sunlight thing. Yeah. Um, well, we could work on this, and we probably will, maybe, but I'm kind of in the mood to do some, like, sketching. Oh, look, there it is. You gonna step up? No, you just want to troll my nose ring. Right there. Also, um, what's his name? Ergo Josh? He had a video I watched the other day about like how to find good references. And I don't know. I've always been reluctant to go and use um, Pinterest, but he's like, I don't know, get over yourself and just use Pinterest. So I was like, hmm, okay. Um, and I found this. And I'm like, hot damn. It's a good ref. And you felt attacked? I did too, and that's why I watched it, because I was like, well, I hate finding references. It was a good video, though. I would recommend you guys all watch it. I'm already getting distracted, trying to, like, draw the hair in. Yes, you cannot. And did you post a picture? <laughs> and it get taken down? Ah, Phantom Blast, thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Halo. I mean, it is funny to me, considering I think the first time I saw a drawing of a penis, it was on DeviantArt. Good luck with your view. Thank you. Um, I think flaccid is okay. But yeah, you can't have, uh, you know, toys and stuff that look like an erection.
Ah, um, baby, baby carrot. Uh, I don't believe so. Nipples are in the clear over on DA, from what I understand. Are you moving states or just into another housing? Just another house. It shouldn't be too bad. The new place is like, like 40 minutes or so from where I currently am. Man, I am so stiff. Holy cow. That's why I hate user reference. I'm just so bad. Like, I, my brain wants to focus on, like, insignificant little bits of it. Lol. I can't. No. Oh, no, that's not, not what I meant. Yeah. I do agree. Just, and they, I feel like they also do try to be more clear with what is and isn't allowed. Like, I don't feel like you're going to just be like blindsided by their terms of service, you know? Where I feel like, hmm. I don't know. I feel like I've seen a, a lot of people like surpri were surprised. Like sometimes their like Twitter accounts are getting deleted and such. Like what happened with Tumblr? Yeah, I. Well, Tumblr was I think different because they just kicked everything off in one big swoop, where it wasn't like, um more selective like you aren't sure what rule you broke and why you're in trouble now you know Underwent like a purge, yeah. Yeah, I hadn't used it pretty much since. The only times I've had to pull up Tumblr is like, I think I posted something there and I wasn't sure what it was, you know? And so I'd like pulled up a view where I could see my old posts. Um, and I would just download and save those images. However, I feel like ever since Tumblr, I've always just been a little more hesitant to post my art. Like, I was really good back in the days of Tumblr at posting my art. Uh, Lixie Art, thank you for following.
Also, I felt a little bit called out by my friends. We were watching the new, like, Iger King, and a lot of the people talk about, like, how much they love animals, and then also, like, they always had, like, just the biggest, uh, drinks. And there's, like, a part of my brain that's like, huh. there's probably a pixie out there that's, you know, maybe not quite as bad as a Tiger King, but is definitely going down a path like that. You know? Never knew Tumblr was big for that. And I missed out. I always thought it was a place for more edgy scene kids. Well, well, see, that's also how I felt about Tumblr, but I started out on DeviantArt. And then I started streaming on Picardo, and the people on Picardo were like, Yeah, I found you here. Um, I normally watch, like, I think it was uh, BBC Chan. And uh, they were like, Yeah, they're big on Tumblr. And I'm like, Tumblr? I met another artist, and they're like, Yeah, Tumblr. I was like, Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Yeah, I think my cup is my cup is too big, or the hand is too. I feel feels off. Uh, I feel off. <laughs> oh, it's probably just like how we all feel. But you know, also just oh, purely just time and practice makes a big difference. Cat cam? There's no cat. That's your cat cam. Anyone else just wake up? Uh, no. I actually woke up earlier than usual. The cats are coming with me. I just have a bird. Okay. Can I step up? No? There never was a cat. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I kind of think like, I don't know. We probably all draw lines and we're probably all not very confident in our own lines. Do I have an Insta? Yes. Do exclamation point so socials and it'll pull that up. My Instagram doesn't have very much art on it though. Alrighty. I really like her hair, but I can't do that with Ramona. 
and her earrings. I don't know how I could do that with like dog ears. I also feel like, I don't know. He's definitely hunched over a bit more. Harper's like attacking my keyboard. Uh, hello. <sighs> yeah, no, see, I don't, I'm not having of my lines at all. Yeah. On my brain. If I did anything and I slipped that I drew a bit and he asked, what do you draw? Uh oh. You gotta come up with your clever response. I think what I always told people, I didn't really want to tell like I drew lewd stuff is I would just say I draw pinups. It works. Well, let's flip it. See if that helps. See, this is why gesture drawing is important. Like, get, get, Oh yeah, no. You'll see, I struggle plenty.
so bad. <laughs> feel dizzy so i'm gonna go eat all right see you later uh lilo bobo uh thank you for following I think the thing is, there's just aspects of this that I want to try and capture. But there are things I kind of want to change, like... I'm a big fan of, like, this almost, like, hunched over look we have, and it's... Like, that's, like, her chin overlapping with the shoulder. But what I would like... I think is for her to feel like she's slouching a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so the neck would be coming towards us. And there's also like, I won't show it too much, but like the pectoral going into the breasts. There's like a shadow being created on the model and I want to try and also have that. What if the camera was at a high angle? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want that as much, but I do like it. The idea of it. Um. What kind of car is she sitting on? Uh, I don't really know what... I would have no idea what car she is sitting on. 
but probably something not very nice. Fuck her. <laughs> With jeans. Scratch it up. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what shirt. I kind of like what she has on, but I don't know if I would want to do that exactly. And you know what? All right, we're going to assume Ramona's on a date. I know the little metal buttons. Yeah. Abra, I feel like you're just out here, just poping on stuff. What are you even doing? Um, I was thinking, like, there's, like, those, like... Or ties in the middle. Something like that. A style and personality. Rex and Rhonda style, in my opinion. Oh, a bikini top? Uh... Yeah, probably. I'm trying to think. I think I might change up our music. But to what? To Jakey, of course.
feel like it has to look, I don't know, kind of, not old, but like, not quite hip. Like, just a little bit out of style. You watch Nikki Jakey? I remember you saying that. However, this is bringing up, I think, the memory that I didn't end up watching. Oh, God. The, uh, oh, wow, videos. See, the thing is, I'm doing, like, her being more slouched over, and I like it, but I also feel like, you know, I feel like it's not good. See? Clean back. I don't know if I know the song.
I'll just tuck this off to the side. By the one that was holding her hat or sitting on the chair Uh, L. Roger Balsa, thank you for following. Yep. I'm be trying to get the face on my help. No, I mean, dude. Oh, hey, Black Flames. Glad you're here.
Aw, uh, Black Flames, thank you so much for the 300 bits. It's very kind of you, thank you so much. Sorry, at the moment, I feel like I'm just kind of in the, a, fo oof, a focus mode. Trying to like, I don't know, accurately recreate a reference. Something I should really just practice. Considering how much I'm struggling. Thank you. I feel like that nose doesn't feel very Ramona-esque. Here, actually, let me be right back. Okay. Um, I'll do just a quick break. Okay. See you guys in a second. <laughs>
Okay, I am back. I went and grabbed. Probably gonna do a little goblin mode. Oh, wait, wait. I guess before I go full goblin mode, I, I got a beer too, but I want you guys to see it because it's a pretty weird looking beer. It's a Chinese beer and I actually, I really like it. It kind of just tastes like a Heineken though. <laughs> hey, Misty Valentine. Thank you so much for subscribing at a tier three for 13 months. Holy cow. Thank you. The main thing I want to show you is how cute the bottle is. Let me, let me show you real quick. Look, it's a Buddha. It is kind of big though, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, but to goblin mode while I eat food, okay? Oh my god. Misty. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Holy cow, thank you so much. Happy New Year to everyone. How are you doing? Congrats, everybody who got a sub. I recognize uh, Sanchez is fine, a cute dragon, Buttfin, low digital kid. Oh, yeah? To witness you eating food. I know, right? You know, sometimes I decide to eat food <laughs> all right but let me switch back to being a goblin and i will attempt to keep going on this is over uh, already yeah did you have to go back on monday or was today your first day back Monday, aw. Okay, well, that's all for Jakey. Jesus. A lot of vacation time.
man, oh man, I am just simply not feeling this. How butts. Feels bad, man. I need to like go look up like Ramon. I feel like they do like kind of wacky, very expressive like things. Let me find that reference real quick. All right, enjoy your food. It'll all be good. I don't know if that's true. This is Ramon. I think it's Ramon. It work. So good. That like expressiveness. Let's play my brush. Papa? I almost designed myself a new character last night, and then I... I was like, what am I doing? And I, like, deleted the file. Because I was, like, tempted to make a tiger character. But I don't want a tiger character. I know, I know. There's a lot. It's best to not think about. <laughs>
Yeah, Ramon. Yeah, their artwork is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty silly. Um, this is just a playlist, uh, YouTube Music was recommending to me. Don't know how to share it. If I find a way, I'll post it in uh in the Discord. And post that. Okay. Try that then. Simota and Roderick, thank you guys for following. Welcome.
I don't know, I'm doodling right now. I'm just... Feeling it. Uh, thanks. I haven't moved yet. But, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to start that process uh, tomorrow. So I haven't taken a sip of this beer. It might not be great. It's good. I feel like it's just been a long time since I've had it. Happy HD TV, TV. Thank you for following. Um, doing okay. I was hoping I would have like a nice little relaxing sketch and uh it was not. <laughs> so that's not great, but you know, not too bad. And we all got those days. Yeah, I am. Is that you? Is this, is, is this me? This is not me. Is this me? No, this is Ramona. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving to a new place. Starting tomorrow. So after today's stream, it's all coming down. And then I won't see you guys on Thursday, but I should be back on uh, 
Saturday. Maybe. Hopefully. No, that's, um, it's a drawing by Ramon. I just pulled it up because I like how expressive it is. Yeah, it's kind of unavoidable because I am moving on Thursday. And then we'll just see if I can get my setup all good before Saturday. I should, but it's not clear yet. Well, luckily most of the packing is already done now. I just have to pack, like, my outdoor, like, plant stuff. Um, and then my computer. I didn't give up. I'm taking a break, though. I'm just drawing something from imagination. Calvin. Trying to decide what kind of pants I want her to wear, though. Because normally she's wearing like ripped shorts. <laughs> um. That's kind of like her go-to look. <laughs> Thank you. It's not what I was going for. I was going for this pose earlier, but you know, <laughs> here we are. Also, Happy New Year, everyone. I hadn't said so, but it's also our first stream of the new year. I feel like we're off to a little bit of a better start because I started a little bit earlier. It's how I practice it. So I pick an image and then I draw on the image. I don't know if it's correct practice anatomy that way because people think I'm just copying the image. So Zomber, I think that that's okay for practicing, but I wouldn't post those images if that makes sense. Um, it's also an okay way of practicing anatomy. But it's not great if you don't have a background, like you don't know kind of what you're already looking at.
I'm trying to think of. Let me see. Yeah, I was thinking Ron Lehman, or, oh, sorry, Ron, L-E-M-E-N. They're where I got, like, a lot of my foundational anatomy skills, like, from. But I think it helps to understand it a little bit before you go straight into, like, tracing references. Because, like, say, generally, when you do a trace, let me show you. So... If we're tracing this, what would be bad and show that you're not actually prop like practicing the correct thing is to go out on the outline of everything. Because that means that you're like not fully understanding what it is you're looking for. Like, you don't want to do it like that. Okay, what you would want to do is like, when you're at this point, which I'm not sure if you are, because I'm not even at this point trying to do like ecroche drawings. to find a good reference. I can't, but what I would do is say, like, if you looked up a, a reference of, say, the trapezius, All right, so you now have like a reference. What you could do is say like, okay, that muscle is like wrapped around the back here. Right? Have an eventful move. Well, thank you. Uh, take care, and hopefully I see you again soon. Bye. Also, let's see. I don't think there's, there's no cat. You're taking notes? Yeah, I would say, like... Well, let me go find more references. Like I said, I'm not at this point where I'm doing this type of thing. Let's say the tracing is to find the anatomy.
you're at this point, you think so? I don't know. I'm having to like pull up reference re references for each part because I don't have it ingrained yet. But again, when you do this type of thing, it's not to take this pose now and just take your tracing, you know? Yeah, there's no cat. And I'll show you. There. <laughs> Get the movie check already? No. I know. Can I draw the anatomy of a of the cup too? Yep. Uh, here's the uh the head. The feet. Uh, just draw till it looks right while knowing the basic anatomy. What do you think it says? It says like iced tea. Can't tell. But yeah, like that's how I would say if you're gonna be doing tracings and it should look like this. You know what I mean? And... That's again, if your goal is now to study anatomy. If you're doing gesture, it'll probably look more like... this. Again, if you're doing like a traceover. you're trying to capture like the feeling of a picture hold on graphic design teacher told me the best way to is to look images but draw small Have you looked up the Andrew Loomis, like, uh, proportions yet? Because if you're concerned about proportions, a big study I remember doing is, like, you have a dot here, dot here, you do a dot in the middle, and then you divide it by eight. All right, and then now you have the head. These will be... It's like a way of dividing the body. I don't actually remember the exact proportions of it all off the top of my head.
So. All right, so that's the chin. So half from here. Or oh, sorry, you want to divide this one into thirds. That's the shoulder. So the top of the shoulder. You get the portions of the head by putting two heads side by side. I think sideways? It's different on men. Not right. I think I'm too low. Yeah. Elbows should be about here. I don't know. I'm not very good. The thing is, you do this type of practice until... Not until, but you should do and get a basic understanding of, like, this idea. Because you're going to make comparisons from this. Um. copy the image and post it. I remember uh, how I did it, but I don't remember like where specifically. So this is like the whole guide of it for an eight head figure, which is considered like the ideal, <laughs> I guess. Uh, what is the name of this lesson? This is proportions, which, you know, I would recommend anybody to like start with this. Like do this at the same time of learning gesture. Because, like, it's these comparisons, like, say, the wrist and where it is on the pelvis and how far when the fingers are extended, how far down does the body go? It is Loomis. Uh-huh. But it's like when you're drawing the body and you need to tell really quickly, oh, is that elbow too long? Well, the elbow should be just about where the navel is. Right? So it's those, like, quick judgments. You're you'll get used to making because this is a guideline. Remember, you don't have to stick with this. Like, make sure there's no like. Again, more Loomis. He's explaining how like. How you can take the different proportions to like a two head, like wide figure that's uh, seven and a half heads. He says it looks rather dumpy. <laughs> 
But it, then he says the idealistic eight heads, then the eight and a half heads for fashion, and then the heroic, might, which might be like nine heads tall. But again, why this is important is say you have to draw a person who's like only four feet tall. Well, do you know how do you break that down again now? Because you can't just make them like, you know, you can't, unless that's like how you're doing it, but it's like, ideally you don't just like do that, right? Because then it feels like they're not existing in the same way that the other characters are. Like it might work for like a fairy, but like, Think of the hobbits. That's not really how they're done. They're not just shrunk down. You know, they have their own proportions that work for them being shorter. I'm trying to find there's like one with like how to make a character older or younger. Okay. Hold on, let me try and censor this one for a second, because also I'm like kind of back, we'll see. Not been like eating my food. Yes, with Ant-Man, you would do it in the way that it's I showed, where you just like shrink it all down. With his mustache. <laughs> all right. Okay, hold on. I don't want Twitch being weird since there's like children in this picture. I'm going to put them all in little clothes. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, so now... Okay, so now you can see the head does get a little bit bigger as you get older, you know? And, like, he shows you how it scales. So, with the head being six inches... He only uses four heads for the proportions, you know? Then, like, for a three-year-old, it's six and a half head, or six and a half inches tall on the head. So he does five heads. Six heads, seven heads. And then that would be, like, 7.5 heads, and then an eight-head figure. Which, like I said, that's considered, like, the idealistic... But once you kind of understand this, you can just apply it to anything. That's kind of why I think, like, it's the, like, basic steps I think you need to take if you want to draw the human figure. See? And, like, a lot of people, you don't have to... Do like a full figure drawing if it is not what you want to do. Because like, here's a picture somebody else did. Where it's like, again, you just need to understand the relationships. So like, again, that's where your chin would be. The nipples, belly button, hip joint, right? Oh, thanks. I don't know if I am. <laughs> but another thing is once you do this, you'll understand like, OK, now I'm going to make the choice to be different stylistically. And I'm just going to have a character with long legs and long arms, right? 
you can do that, but you have at least understood, like, some of these relationships. And when you do it in a way that kind of shows that you, like, thought about it, it doesn't feel, like, too off. It does end up actually feeling like a style and not just, like, a, a lack of knowledge. You know? I know. Well, like, the luck. Be a tall, tall lady. Yeah, she's just huge. <laughs> Like, pretty crazy. <laughs> but... But the nice thing is, the relation kind of between, like, the arms and the legs is still, like, good. You know? It is funny though, once you like, look for that type of stuff. Spider legs. Yeah. Very tall. Um. I don't know where y'all could even maybe get this. Because... Even if you wanted it, I don't know where you would buy it. But... It was like the anatomy book that I got. It was an Imagine FX feature. But you can see, like, again, the breakdown of the anatomy. It's pretty cool. Hey, Cypher Tree. Also, hey, Kuya. It's so popular in Japan. They say things like, you have small face as a compliment. My face is small, too. That's very interesting. I don't... At least to me, I don't feel like that's... what I would desire. But it's interesting. Oh, you got a PDF of that book? Well, I, I really love this book. I still haven't, like, gone through it all. Dedicated, like... But... It's definitely very helpful. Like, I think this might be a study somebody did of. Look. Again, it's just trying to understand the relationships of things. And it's like, it never ends. <laughs> You'll always have to, like, brush up on these things. But see, here's, like, what I was explaining, where it's, like... This part of your arm could only be, like, so long. So no matter what way it pointed, there's a correct, like, length it should look like. You know? Same thing with, like, your elbows. So. I don't know. Probably this. This, and then I had a not-so-great one, but it's 
one of the ones I had, which I think was like called Cutting Edge Anatomy. But yeah, that's kind of why it's like, I just don't think tracing photos is as helpful as, um, like, doing these types of, like, almost T-poses. Um, T-poses learn just some of the basic anatomy to put on top of it. I don't know. Just my thoughts. But it's like here, it's like, I'm trying to think. Her elbow will probably meet up with her belly button when it's not like swinged up, swung out to the side. And I kind of I feel like I always draw my characters with kind of long arms. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> um... Yes. No, 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 not the hip bone, the belly button. Yeah, generally it lines up with the belly button, which is really touching my own belly button. It's pretty close. The belly button's a little higher than the hip. Something I do wrong all the time. Um, I don't really know if I would re even recommend that for finding the landmarks. Because a lot of times when you're doing like anatomy studies and you now have like the basic gestures understood, right? When you you'll, you learn how to do like a robot, a robo like skeleton kind of. And with that, that's how you should try and learn where you're like bony landmarks are. You know, like the hips, the ribs, all our bone, top of your shoulders. The mistletoe is annoying to draw. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've drawn, a, like, a mistletoe once, and I'm like, yeah, I did like that. Oh, you're gonna have dinner? Enjoy your dinner. Belly button is higher than men's. I believe... It, it's the opposite, right? Ah, oh, now I gotta go look. Is Googling belly buttons. Mm. I don't know, these like drawings I'm coming across, they're trying to show like it is higher. Maybe. I don't know. The thing is that the those diagrams I was showing you, that's just considered like a standard. But everybody's proportions are a little different. It's just how much does it vary? You know? Anthropomorphic male shark. Uh, different anatomy, I see. 
man's junk uh, is higher than the woman's higher. Yeah, I don't think so, but like on most figures, I think it's like a like a little bit above the hip. But yeah, it's like those are your bony landmarks. You know, and then on the butt, but it's like look for those maybe in pictures, but once you learn them, it's like, I don't know, you won't really forget them. Uh, I'll thank you all for following. You guys have any suggestions for her outfit? It's kind of like a country look. Flannel. I don't know. I don't think I want a skirt. I was tempted to do like just like legging shorts. I don't know. If it's that dank. Straw in the mouth. Thing is, she is kind of... Uh, I misspoke. She's kind of country, but the thing is, she rejects it. She ain't about it. She wants to move to the city. Fusion tech. I don't know if rock and roll.
uh, but more on a budget. I'm sorry. Might be my favorite. He's definitely, well, I, I don't know. I can't say that. <laughs> I can't pick faves. I know. Oh, you got shepherd's pie? Yum. Let's see. I don't like this music. But I don't. I don't want this. I feel like I don't want this either. With Anna, like, what are you doing? Thank you. And another thing is, I'm really tell you. Jojo changed my feelings, and I feel like I need to see everybody in, like, neon lipstick. Otherwise, I don't think I'm happy. No, 
I don't think I can. Ah, I wish. This is the same space. I don't know. I don't think I... I don't got the moxie. The confidence. I don't think it does. You're gonna go practice? Nice. <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> it looks bad. Okay. I'll keep the nose. Move the eye in. Oh, wait, wait. I, but I have... I have booze! See? Hey, Anna Fear. Happy New Year. Save and a hand stretch. Okay. Can do that. It is a big bottle. How many ounces? What is that drink? What is that drink for? Uh, I don't know. We're celebrating our last day here before we move. And then, you know, our stream, welcoming it in the new year. It's an enlightened beer. Because it's got a Buddha. See the Buddha? Hey. Am I blind? It's a pint. Is that true? I did eat. Where is the kitty? Um, not here. Would you guys prefer we have shrimp? That song is so good. Oh, I didn't know Zed Dead did a uh, Oliver Tree remix. Okay. <laughs> there we go.
I'm not sure what like expression I was really looking for. You think that word will also uh, be against rules in the future? Saltines. No, well, base nectar's not bad. Oh, let's do this, though. Hello. Anna Fear, thank you so much for a good snack during the move. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, what do you use Procreate for? Uh, really nothing. I really want to try and use my iPad more because I follow people. And I'm like, and y'all's art looks so good. And, uh, I'm envious because a lot of them use Procreate. But thank you again. Do I switch on my pose? Hold on. Yes, sneeze. What? Sorry. I'm not gonna, uh, really talk about it too much, but, like, the, the, the C word that was banned, are you allowed to use it in the other context where it's, like, you know, where it makes sense to say it, and it's not, like, a slur, or do you think you would still get in trouble? Okay, well... That's good, at least. I feel like... I don't know. I, I feel like that wasn't clear to me. And, like, I was talking about, like, chips and dip the other day, and I almost said it, I was like... <laughs> Can't say that word.
I mean, I don't know. I don't really like the idea of using an insult like that towards anybody, especially when it's based on like race or um like sexuality. I feel like that's kind of messed up. This is cute so far. I like it. When do you think you're gonna start practicing procreate? So I've been charging my iPad and I kept meaning to, but like a video I watched just the other day, uh, the artist was using it. Charmy uses Procreate too. Uh, Ajimbo uses Procreate. Your floor lamps are wet. <laughs> Calv. I feel like Calvin has uh tried to discuss it. I'm not saying it of course, but like I definitely have seen the chat be like, what's the word? This song? Uh Little Big and Oliver Tree. <laughs> Nothing. It's silly. You'd say it with like cheese and blank. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> Continuation? Does that make sense with cheese? What do you eat with cheese? And if yeah, I hope not. <laughs> it has to start with a C. You eat che cheese and custard? Cheese and Coke. Oh, God. <laughs> See, I can't tell how many of y'all are just pulling my leg now.
Yes, Meowza. <laughs> Shoot him. Thing is, I will never say it in a way that would probably get me in trouble. But I may say it by mistake by like just talking about food. Not saying I want us to get in there and start talking about it. But I don't know. I can't even remember what made me think of this. Just the fact that maybe I, I, I was afraid one day because I thought I almost said it. Oh, oh, it was Destacata. That's where it started. I'm glad you caught it. Man, I don't know why I keep drawing this like face position because I hate it. I'm not very good at it and I keep struggling. Am I? Winter is depressing enough. I know, right? Man, has it been snowing for anybody else? It hasn't really here, but like it, it started, I guess. It snowed here yesterday. Yeah, it's crazy because like on like Christmas, 
I was able to like go outside in a swimsuit. And then all of a sudden, no, I cannot. I will freeze my butt off. Just cold. Too dry? Oh. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty wild. And I'm dreading it because it's like one of my last things I need. Well, also, I have like that mini fridge uh, that I keep all my Diet Coke in. And I needed to thaw it before I move it. And I put it outside and then it like got freezing cold. I'm like, well, you know, it's never going to thaw now. Yeah, any other time. I wouldn't mind it if it was like, like real snow, but like where I live, it's like never like actually snow. It's just like slush. A cat in here? Oh, early because of it? Let's see. I'm gonna have to move y'all over. Okay. Oh, I see. Sorry, Helen Mateo, I just looked in stream chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm... So my move... Like, t hold on. My move to, like, move all of my stuff, that's, uh, that's gonna be Thursday. But I'm moving all my pets tomorrow. So I have to, like, get up in the morning. Um, I think I'm also gonna pack up my fridge, so any of the food I still have. And all my plants. I had to, like, just spruce up all my plants, because, like, my succulents are overgrown. Um, and I had to, like take those apart when are you gonna get a pompadour i wish just a new just a new place i'm staying in my state and kind of like i guess the city i'm moving closer to the city i guess i'm just hearing about the moving i know right I've been able to like handle uh the move like up until recently because now it's like when I think about packing anything it really stresses me out like when we're done today I'm gonna hop up um drain that tank at the bottom um move those fish into my other tank and what else I need to clean my other tank Gotta prep my cat crates and clean their litter box. They have like a fancy robot litter box. Um, and I want that clean before I move. I know. That's why I didn't stream Saturday. But we'll see. It should be normal. I mean, we're already at like three hours, so if we do what has been the common, it's like one more hour, but we'll see. If we do more, it's not bad. I tried to start a little bit earlier today, so, you know, I could actually be more reasonable with my time. Yeah, moving sucks. It's been, I think, four years now since I, the last time I moved. I 
my lady wants to move to Washington because of work? Hmm. Like Washington State or DC? State. I mean, that would be cool, but that would be quite a hefty, and I don't know where you live relative to that. Um, but I have family that moved to where I am, but they were in uh, Washington, I think. Yeah. And that was like a hefty move. Their like movers canceled on them the day of their move. So they had to go run out and get a rental truck and load it all up themselves. Pretty, pretty wild. I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not so bad, but... That... I don't know if it would be nicer than California. I don't drink Coke Zero Black Flames. I only drink Diet Coke. But it's not giant. It's just like a, a 32 ounce. 32 ounce of it, you know? the finest tiny coke i know honestly if i like was going to a gas station and somebody brings me i used to get upset because i'd go with my grandpa like every day to the gas station and sometimes if he went without me he'd bring me a drink and it'd be a 32 ounce and i'd be like grandpa that's not what i want where's my 64 ounce and he's like you got problems kid <laughs> <laughs> Those were fun trips. He's not wrong. Always and uh, you got such nice teeth with all that coke. I know. You got problems, kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what's this peasant drivel? I, well, I used to get, like, extra irritated with, like, friends when I was little, because, like, we'd go to a gas station, right? And I'd be like, do you want a drink? And they're like, no. And I get to my place, and they're, like, trying to, like, sip on my drink. I'm like, you didn't want a drink. I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to sip yours. I'm like... I hate you. I know. It's like one thing with me. It's like, I'm very reluctant uh, to share my french fries or my drink. Like, I really gotta like you. I really gotta like you if I'm sharing my drink with you. And it also has to be a good day. Like, every sip you take, I'm like... Like, I've died. <laughs> no, I'll share every other food, but not my french fries or Diet Coke. Hi, right, guy friends. Didn't have that problem. Mm. Oh, of them sharing drinks. It's like an act of love, though. 
when I share a french fry. Because I have a friend who also really likes french fries, and I've shared fries with them because I think they get it. Like, they understand, like, what does that mean to me, you know? They know that it's like, it means something, you know? How much it was in liters? Yeah, 64 ounces. Usually you just can get them at like a Sonic. Most of the places by me, the biggest size they have is a 52 ounce. Them a plate. <laughs> They're touching a coffin. <laughs> no many ounces. I mean, Honestly, hey, Mateo, that's something I always look at is like, all right, how, how well does this fit my cups, you know? Like when I got my truck, it was definitely what I was looking at. One thing I want to kind of do when I move is I was tempted to like, because I had my grandpa make me my desk um, out of, I think, a... Uh, I don't know it's like a pallet um but i wanted to have like a drink holder put on the side of it you know i have an option for their uh meals called my girlfriend isn't hungry she'll just have some of my fries and they double your fries or whatever it's funny um i didn't mind to share but i do mind when they get me Out of my stack time. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Five Guys is a place where if you go there, it's like, yeah, you can have some of the fries. I don't care. There's so many fries, you know? How are you guys? Are you the type of people who like, when, say like you're eating ice cream or something and there's like some really tasty chocolate or something on it. Do you eat around the chocolate and then save the chocolate for last? Or do you eat the chocolate with it? Or do you just eat it all first? Eat that last? <laughs> Okay, but Jace, think of something that would be on your meal that would be good. Do you eat, like, your favorite? Do you eat it first? Do you eat it with it? Or do you eat, uh, you save it? With the very last ice cream? With it until it runs out? I eat it with, I figure it is meant to be consumed at the same time. Make sure both I eat around to save the best for last. I also eat a little with the rest. Ball of cookie dough and I scooped it off and flattened it and baked it into an actual cookie. <laughs> uh, best for last. And then you savor that bite. And eat it all at once. Uh. Um, both because the bottom of the milkshake is so fire. Yeah, Fusion Tech, but I don't know if that's the point. Because, like, the reason I ask is I have had a lot of my life where it's like I put a little bit of the food I really wanted and I save it off on the side. And then all of a sudden, like, one of my grandparents walk by and take the little last bite and eat it. <laughs> and I'm like, I was saving that, you know? And they're like, oh, I thought you didn't want it. 
And I was just wondering if any of you guys could relate. <laughs> Leave it visible. I do! <laughs> Got that food trauma. Didn't eat the things evenly, but then I saved uh, the fave for the last fight. That's how fight starts. And a person eating what someone else say. Oh no. <laughs> I did it. Well, do you like elder? You can't really. I couldn't really. <laughs> the Pixie's villain arc starts. Hmm. What are they on the ball? <laughs> Honestly, it's not a bad idea. And not cry over taking too long to eat something. Hmm. I know respect that. Yeah. You know. I don't know, yeah, it just kind of made me think, like, there's definitely some people where it's like, oh, their favorite part, they eat that first. And I'm always like, why didn't you, like, want to savor that? Isn't that delicious? But, you know, I probably have, like, food problems. Think about it probably too much. I agree that I have food problems. Or the other part. Uh, I thought easier for me once I learned. Uh, when I practice now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, if you have your M&Ms, I mean, they don't taste different, but if you want to like, if you like the greens the best, then you put them off to the side and save them. I would say that these are my most mild food issues. Yeah, yeah, are the Starbursts? Yellows go first. <laughs> Ew. The pinks are definitely the best. That'd be pretty. What do you mean, not say? You've been in Starburst in like six years? I had like the little tiny ones. Uh, I can't remember why I got them. But I did, and they were really good. I mean, I don't know if you're in tech, that's probably good. Yeah. Just tease them. <clears throat> That's going well. Just saying goodbye to this wall and little bit of floorboard, carpet, it's all gonna go away. Oh, oh. 
the next place looks good for the layout. Are there outlets? There's kind of an outlet. What about, what about this side? Oh yeah, Marshall, the crickets. Oh yeah, there's a, <laughs> there it is. A light switch. Take it all in, guys. Yeah, I have. I've been in there before. Like, when I would visit my friends, it was their guest room. Uh, yes and no. It's like, I wasn't... Like... Initially planning on moving, but the opportunity came, and it just made sense. So, yeah, I think I will. I don't like change either. It makes me feel sad. I just hope it's nice enough. I know, I mean, I know it'll be nice, but like the internet's gonna not be as good. So I'm hoping that it's not bad around Plasma. I know. I don't think it's, it's not bad internet. It's just not like a God tier internet, which is what I have right now. <laughs> My footage looks like Stardew. <laughs> I think I should be fine. Like I said, I'm just nervous. It is above 10. I think it was like... around there. So it should be fine. You know, knock on... knock on some wood. Also, I've decided that this bottle is awkward. It's like, the, it's just awkward. Mm-mm. Yeah, like my current one is really good. It's like Google Fiber. Also, like, okay, you remember how I was telling you guys like cars got broken into at my place? Um, there were like 12 plus cars that all got broken into. And one or two were like even stolen you know but there's been a car like sitting out in the parking lot hasn't been touched and the window has been broken still and i'm gonna say i think somebody came and put a like a plastic bag to cover the window but it looks like it hasn't been touched and like the cops came and they were supposedly talked to everybody but there's a part of me that's not like i don't know I feel like there needs to be a wellness check or something. Because... I don't know. I feel like the car has been abandoned and or that person isn't doing too hot. <laughs> They're dead. I know. I hope not. I feel like... But see, that's... The thing is, the cops were here. And I feel like if their rent wasn't being paid you know and i don't know there's even things where it's like they check the cars every now and then like if a car hasn't been moved in a certain amount of time something happens i don't know I don't know if I feel comfortable living in a place where somebody is like, I don't know. No, see, I don't know if they did come out. 
Or like, what if the person who came out was like... I don't know. My brain. Need to be their hero. I ain't nobody's hero. The best I think I could do is tell the cops and then they could go ask the apartment and be like, whose car is this? And then they can look, look up where the person lives because I don't even know where they are. You know. It's, like I said, it's just there's been a car out there. I don't even think it was the person who put the trash bag over the window. Because, like, for a while, like, there are cats, like, the random outdoor cats climbing in and out of that car. I always thought that car kind of looked nice. Well, at least nicer than my car that got broken into. What? I don't. Kira? <laughs> I feel like that arm is weird. I feel like I'm just putzing about. I feel like another thing that I'm looking forward to is like at my current place, the um like maintenance people can like kind of just walk in. And I've been in a state where I didn't want people coming inside my place and they they did. And that's like that sucks. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot I won't miss about this place. Dang, yeah. No, not landowners. It was, um, like, maintenance workers. I live in, like, a complex. And from what I understood, like, I have friends who also live in, like, complexes. But they at least have, like, a second lock that they can lock when they're inside their apartment. Like, my place didn't have something like that. But I guess they were doing like fire alarm checks. And so like, since I didn't answer the, the door, they just like unlocked it and came in. I'm like nude in bed. I'm like freaked out. My cats are freaked out. I have to like shout I'm here and grab like blankets, you know? It does suck. <laughs> Something to think about if y'all are ever looking for a place is make sure they have like locks. It was not a good time. I was very upset. And then I had, like, just stress about it. I've also had, like, a 
had a guy one time. I came home from like my family's place one time, and um, I'm like walking up the stairs to my place. It's like the entrance to the buildings is outside, and all of a sudden I see like a guy standing at my door, and I'm like, uh oh, is this how I die? Is this person gonna kill me? And like, luckily I was like on my phone and stuff, but I, I was like, I don't know, I like stopped on the stairs and like didn't want to walk any closer because I just saw this person standing at my front door. And they were acting like they were waiting on something, I'm like, I'm like, alright. Well, it's like, gotta do something, so I'm like, can I help you? And they're like, they're kind of like weirded out by me. And they're like, oh, no, I'm just, you know, waiting. You know, no Jehovah Witness. They were like, they kind of had more of like a bro look. And I was like, I'm waiting on my friend. I'm like, I don't think so. That's my place. You know, and I like, it took a lot out of me. I was so stressed after that. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, that's my place. And I was at least like, a good bit away. But I think they like called up their buddy on their phone and realized that they were actually at the wrong place. But still, it was like, I don't know, massively unsettling. I know you said that's my place. See, I probably shouldn't have even said that, but it's like. Do you think so? Their friend might have just given them the wrong, uh, address. Or like just the other day, I heard somebody like in the morning trying to unlock my door. I'm just saying, <laughs> there's a lot I won't miss about this place. Like, there's just too many people over here. And when I heard them like, I said, that's my friend's place. Yeah. I don't know. It's not great. <laughs> no, no, and that's the thing is, I guess I'm gonna give that guy the benefit of the doubt, the doubt that it was a mistake, that their friend gave him the wrong address, because he was like holding like what looked like it could have been like a board game or something. But what weirded me out is he just like was standing there, and I thought like, was he waiting for me to like walk past him? I don't know. Ow, ow. I don't know. That was just my fear. I know. Right? And then, like, some woman comes and harasses him as he's waiting at the front door. I know. I know for so it wasn't too worrying. Yeah, like like I said, like the other day I had somebody trying to open my door and I assume it's again they had the wrong address. Cause I'm like, it's not the maintenance people, because normally they'll shout that it's like them before they enter. Um uh, yeah, not not great. It's just as much as a threat. I know. You're like sending your friends to the wrong address. I don't know. I was pretty unsettled by that. He did leave, luckily, because like he, like I said, he called up his friend and he, they were like, yeah, that's not my address. And they left. But no, he didn't seem like he was under the influence or anything. He seemed pretty like, I don't know.
Uh, well, that was just one time. This other time I've had other people, I don't think it was the same people. I think it was like the new neighbor who moved in across from me. Because they were having like a party that day, I think. Or no, it was the people above me. I don't know. It'll be nice. No, so the new place is a condo. Um, but there will be, I think, four neighbors, but my friends used to live there. Um, and they, uh, they know all the people who, like, live there. So it shouldn't be, like, too concerning. And they have a gate that actually works at their front. Yeah, and I mean, that's like a thing. It's like, at my current place, it's like... There's a gate. There's a gate at my current place, but it's never working. It's like constantly busted or broken. Yeah. The thing, luckily, as I was on the phone, so at least like I was talking to the person on the phone, everything that I was doing, I was like, yeah, there's some guy standing at my door, you know? At least if I died, they would know that I was murdered, I guess. I don't know. It's not a great, not a great second plan. I need work. I think only the other day I was like told like, yeah, don't walk through woods by yourself, probably. I'm like, oh, okay. I know, right? Oh, God. It was some guy. <laughs> he didn't look like a bad guy, but uh, like I said, I was scared. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> uh. I mean, he was like, I don't know, Ayla Mateo. <laughs> and no one would know. Well, see, that's why, you know, I was still had red flags up. You cannot trust. There was like a story just the other day of like some like well-to-do 25-year-old realtor guy but he just like got caught by like cops for like serial murder like murdering homeless people and it's like looking at him you know you I don't think you would have guessed that but there you go <laughs> Yeah. Apparently, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I can say on Twitch. We can trust you then, Pixie. A lot of times, I think I say, don't trust me.
But that's usually with like information. <laughs> you need to vet your own information. Don't take my word for it. Actually, I just took out my dead shrimp out of my fridge the other day. And, uh, and feeder bugs for, uh, Marshall. They were in my mini fridge. I am not drawing Tahoe. I should be. Uh, I'm sure Calvin will start streaming soon, right? And working on it. I do have... I do have a single penis bone. It used to be on my bookshelf over there, but it's not anymore. That's <laughs> considered a confession. Uh, I always think... Could be... Could he be a friend of mine? Then it must be a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a raccoon. I don't know. Do we need like do I need to take like people to self-defense? I don't know. I feel like I don't know, there's a part of me that doesn't think that that would be that helpful. It's more like just learning common sense, like you know. Don't confront the random person standing at your front door. You know? It's my first. I don't know you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think mine's that great. A slew of mistakes that have, should have been preventable. Yeah. It's like my buddies, they've told me like, oh, whenever they get into an Uber, they double check the, uh, like, driver's license, or not the driver's license, but like, the license plate, making sure it's like the correct one. Telling all their friends where they're going. They watch like, that they're staying on the route that their, like, directions tell them they're going. Uh-huh. I'm always very tense in an over. In the front, really? I don't. Should I? <laughs> it's probably legal where I live. I think to you. Everyone respects you all of a sudden. <laughs> uh. Hmm. That's something to think about. You've been pepper sprayed for training? Really? Eh. I see.
Yeah. I don't know. I have two scary dogs. You know, one time, I actually... Growing up, my family did have issues with, like, stalkers. Um... They had a, could have had a hot mom. Um... And, like... The guy who was, like, causing us issues... Um... I was at a park walking my dog. And this is when I got real upset. Real upset with my dog. I was like, wow, okay. But I was like, walking and they like came up on me and they're like, uh, something, something like, oh, I'm gonna pet your dog. And then like, I was like, well, be careful. She might bite, you know, cause she was growling at him. But all of a sudden she was like, you know, lovey dovey with it. I'm like, thanks dog. Not what I wanted you to do. But. That's, that's what happened when I had my dog. She just ended up, like, snuggling up to the person I was afraid of. There's no cat cam! There's your cat. <laughs> Yeah, things are making me a liar, dog. <laughs> I know. From the leftover fume. Mm. Oh, really? Wow. That's really cool. I don't think I know what a Neapolitan Mastiff looks like. I, I know what Mastiffs look like. Yeah, I kind of did that too, but I was also like 10 years younger than the person who was like talking to me. But I mean, luckily the person wasn't like dangerous. They were just creeper. You know? Man, I don't know about y'all, but like when I was growing up, I was always afraid of being kidnapped. No, no, knock on wood, it never happened. But like when I was a little kid, I was always so afraid. But I was doing stuff that it's like, I don't know if I would recommend, but it's like what me and my friends would talk about. Like we'd see a car and we'd be like, quick, get into the bush. You know, and we like jump into the bushes or r like go into the uh, backyards of people and then walk off the road. But it's like, that's probably worse because then less, pe less people are probably going to see you, you know? Why did that cross your mind as a kid? I never thought of that, really. I wasn't too afraid, but it was on my mind. I had other fears. Out of us like that, I was also afraid of being kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like the plan wasn't a good plan. Oh yeah, okay, that's the ones I think I've seen. That'll be a lot of fun and cute wrinkles. I definitely did not. Did I tell you guys? Did I tell you guys about how like one time I was at the movie theater and I started hearing like loud banging? Like like what I thought was like gunfire. Did I tell you guys about that? No. Oh yeah, me too, Halo. I, so... Yes. Me too. And... I think I was watching Shang-Chi. And... I was sitting down, we were watching it, and there was like some loud music, but all of a sudden I hear like, some banging sounds. And then like, a part of me was like, Hmm, is that the movie? I kept listening, I'm like, hmm, that's not sounding like the movie. 
and all of a sudden like the music is stopped and it's like just normal um normal sounds and all of a sudden like my heart sinks a little bit and my friends i asked my friend like do you hear that and they're like yeah i don't think it's good i was like oh god i'm gonna die and they're like stay here and i'm like okay and they get up and the sound is still going and i'm like full panic i gather all my stuff strap my purse over my like neck um i hop up i start walking because i'm like oh no they're not gonna come back and i'll be like I have to, like, escape on my own. Um, but I, like, get up. And they come back and tell me there's apparently people shooting fireworks off in the, um, in the parking lot of the movie theater. <sighs> I tell you, that's a dick move. I don't know why that's allowed to shoot fireworks at a movie theater. But like, I was terrified. The people sitting beside me, they like came up to me and they're like, what's going on? Like, do I need to like get out of here? And I'm like, uh, I think it's just fireworks. But it was definitely like, <laughs> you know, feels bad, man. I don't know. There's, there's my, there's my stories. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was, like, I was ready to call the cops. So I was like, oh my god, there's like a shooter in here. We're all gonna die. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it was a church that was right beside the movie theater. They were, I think it was a church. But they like came over and started lighting up fireworks and I'm just surprised that there's not like more rules against doing that because I feel like that's like are you allowed to shoot fireworks at a school? I don't think so. I don't think you should. I was going like so fast. Like, I was full sweat. It was hard for me to enjoy the rest of the movie. God's dangerous explosives. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, the drills. Uh, when I was. Ah, 2K. Thank you so much for gifting the sub to how long can this username be? I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Hold on, let me catch up. Uh, when I was walling past college and campuses, uh, massive alarms and PSA systems went off. An active shooter situation, the cops and helicopters were everywhere. Turns out uh, some kid popping balloons. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that, except... I don't know. It was one of those situations where... Also, hey, Bikaki. Good to see you. It was a situation where I was concerned by how few other people seemed concerned by the sound. You know, because I was like, is this one of those situations where everybody else decided just not to not look for it or do anything? Like, are they just like sitting there not doing nothing? Oh, Fusion Tech, thank you so much for gifting us up to Bikaki. I don't know. And that's why, I don't know, a part of me was like ready to go. I was, I almost told the people beside me, I was like, hey, I think there's something bad going on, you know? Cause like, I heard it and I was scared. I thought I should at least tell them, but they like got up and followed me. Cause they were like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. You do gotta, like, trust your own instincts sometimes. Ah, uh, Fusion. 
Thank you for also gifting a sub for Art of Black. And you also have... What is that? Is it the... Mark of the Beast? Is that what that is? The 666? <laughs> anyway, nice. <laughs> Mm. Very, very interesting. I don't know. I'm kind of glad I didn't really go to public school. I didn't. I was homeschooled. I mean, I went to public school in elementary grade. Well, up until fourth grade. Yeah, and cover the windows. For the fish tank. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely... Honestly, another weird one I was in, a situation, I was a lot younger. And me and my mom were at like a nail salon, I think with my sister. But all of a sudden there was like a big fluffy, like, uh, Doberman, like, dog was like put outside. And... I don't know, everybody got a little tense and they're like, what's that dog? You know, and I think people were afraid it was like a bomb or something. But, dude, the woman like sitting beside us, she like grabbed a purse and like booked it out of there. Uh, it was nothing, but like that woman was ready. She wasn't st sticking around at all. A bomb dog before yeah i think it was just like the fact that there was like a weird like plushy outside and like the thing is the workers were kind of seeming confused and concerned by it you know part of me thinks that that woman just didn't want to pay <laughs> Yeah, like a stuffed animal. Not a real dog, a stuffed animal. It was huge. It was like a little bit concerning, you know? It just, everybody seemed a little unsettled, you know? Like, the group, all those humans are like, uh-oh. Congrats on the move. Thank you, Kaysom. Yeah. Um. Oh. Showed you guys about it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, dog set. Like sharks with legs. Yeah. I feel like sometimes, maybe sometimes dogs unsettle me more than say like a cat does. Like generally when a cat is going to bite you or hurt you, I feel like you kind of know a little bit better. But it's like sometimes a dog might seem fine and all of a sudden like you get bit. Where it's like generally a cat like trying to scoot away from you and is kind of acting like to themselves, you know? 
But like, if you're afraid of like a cat biting you, usually you have like, that cat is probably gonna bite me. <laughs> Do I proceed and try to like grab him or something? Um, you don't know about that? That's probably just been my experience, though. Dogs do generally, I feel like, get more quiet. Well, then Alice. Okay. She'll just bite you for no reason. Very quickly, yeah. Ow. No, 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 no. Your nails are long. She is a love biter, but she's also mean. She'll just bite you because she's feeling mean. It's funny because, like, all of my other, like, my other cats, they don't like messing with her because she'll just bite them, and they don't like it. They're like, hey, that was mean. With wakes up with violence, yeah. See, I'm not thinking that this face really looks like Ramona. Like the eyes. Yeah, my only scar I have is from Alice biting me. Yeah, and sending me to like the emergency room. We were fun for a second, but I'm done. Yikes. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think a lot of people, maybe not a lot, but there are plenty of people who end up getting dogs, and I don't think that they are very, like, capable of training their dogs. It's like, I don't know. I'm never too eager to play with somebody's dog unless I've seen them behave well, because it's like, I've definitely had dogs where it's like, they're sweet and I pet them, and all of a sudden they bit my, like, arm. But not, like, hard enough for me to be concerned, but they definitely, like all of a sudden just randomly like snapped at me. Or like, if you put your foot next to their body, all of a sudden they bite your foot. You know? I don't know. Yeah.
That's very bad. No, later that person told me that their dog just is a little bit aggressive. And I was like, good to know. I will never touch them or try and be near them ever again. Feels cute, man. Yeah. You will never get bit from my police dog. What do you mean? Alice, I'm done. I don't want to hold you. See, this is why I, I don't like holding her. She's so persistent. We're done. Beat it, kid. Come to me, Alice. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no. Like I, I have friends who are like, oh, I'm gonna pet the dog, and I'm like, no. I will tell the person, I'm like, hey, you have a very pretty dog, and I leave it at that. Unless they're like, hey, you can pet them, then I might pet them, but usually I don't try and pet dogs. Do you really think that, Halo? They've been invaluable, I think, with, like, finding things. No, they aren't? What do you mean? But yeah, I'm saying rescue. The narcotics? I don't know, I've watched videos of them being pretty good at that too. I mean, I think that that's less important, obviously, but like... Yeah, a lot of times they end up going home with, like, the families. Wholesale. Please, goats. I'll kick you in half. Yeah. No, police llamas are every are where it's at. And stream chat basically drugs sniffing can be trained to act. You take the drug, okay, bypassing someone. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, generally it's like... Cops probably think that there's a reason for the dog to be called in. And so then if they need their, like, dog to come in and confirm... You know, one thing that surprises me is that they don't use, like, bloodhounds more, you know? I used to want a bloodhound. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's something I hadn't thought about too much. Well, how long can this username be? I actually didn't know what you were trying to say earlier about it. Like, you'll never get bit by a police dog. I was like, wait, what? For a while, some of me and my friends, we were watching, it was a thing about police dogs, and it was like comparing police dogs versus other police dogs, and then, um, like, other owners who just trained their dogs to do what police dogs can do, and they were comparing, like, all right, who's the best dog? But thing is, their dogs were, like, um they would go in there and have to like signal at certain things that were placed with like whatever scent the dogs were trained to smell. And a lot of them did go and find them every now and then they would like notify something that wasn't like the uh, correct smell, I guess. Probably most dogs. Yeah. <gasps> and I don't drink. I'm sorry if you don't. I'm also drawing Ramona's hair differently than I normally do.
Man, I cannot draw her face though. This is a face from earlier. That one's still pretty kind of cute. Maybe I grab that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 2K? Yeah, gifted it to you. Oh. I'll say, I'm glad you guys are all hanging out. It's wasting its potential. <laughs> Wait, think? You think water is always wasting its potential? Oh. <laughs> have your hot topics hot takes i don't think i got i don't think i got what it takes to do hot takes i watch other people do it i'm like man close the let's not do that <laughs> It's pretty good at writing the line. Dude, Cynics goes too hard for me. Also, he makes some very, like, hard claims. I'm like... Alright. <laughs> okay. Whenever you say... It's interesting, though. I feel like... Part of me thinks it's like you're not really exposed. Like people don't really try sometimes to like actually talk to people they disagree with, I feel. It's like you might talk a little bit, but then all of a sudden you're like, oh no no, I'm no longer talking. I'm like yelling these facts that I think at you now. And it like gets out of hand. And so it's like nobody's ever really no, I feel like willing to change their minds. And be more flowy. I've never seen a hot take derail the stream completely. I feel like if I tried, I would plunge the, the chat into the Civil War. So Nix has once asked me, they're like, Pixie, why are you in here? I'm like, uh-uh, I'm staying out of there. I, like, can't. I think one person said I was, like, pro-abortion. I'm like, how did you come to that, like, idea? Or, sorry. Ant Pro-anti-abortion. I was like, how did you, like, I don't know. It was just, like, 
is like the jumping to conclusions based on one thing I said. They're like, oh, that's the thing that so-and-so says. I'm like... <sighs> Do hot takes have to be controversial? No, but most are. Well, it's like a hot take, like... Uh... Cereal soup? That's a bad hot take. <laughs> it's a bad hot take. That's a hot take. I don't know. Anti-pro-abortion, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> mm. Well, the thing is, I wasn't even talking about abortion, or... I can't even remember how it started, and I don't think I want to go there with y'all. I feel like I'm a different person, and maybe when you guys catch me out in the wild, you'll see. But I don't think I'm the same person I am often in my own chat. Like, in Cynix's chat, I might, like, say, not say, I might ask questions that I don't think I would ask y'all. <laughs> you see right through that? <laughs> Wild, is it? No. Oh. I actually do remember my like hot take that I asked him and then I became a mod, but I actually haven't been a real mod because I feel like I haven't done anything in his chat, but my hot take and I'll tell you guys this one. I said, I think, and I'm going to stand by it. I think all good artists need to be able to draw a good horse. Otherwise they're not a good artist. The hot take, <laughs> but it was my take. And then I got challenged to a, a draw a horse off with Cynix, and his chat voted I won. Because his horse looked like a cow. <laughs> so, I then, I don't know, I felt a little bit validated. No, I think it's a horse, because you'll see, like, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, like, great artists could draw horses. But sometimes you see an artist and you're like, wow, their art is amazing, and then all of a sudden they draw a horse with legs that the front leg bends backwards, and that's like the knee. And then I got some problems. Hot take, I know. But that's not how a horse leg works. Takes me a better since then. I didn't say that, but Finn. I'm just saying that. That's what I think. Because, like, a lot of times I'm like, wow, that person's like a god tier artist. And then I see their horse. It's. Because the thing is, the answer is there. You can figure out how to draw a horse that looks right. Whether or not you do it, I think. Here, there you go. Those, that's Pixie's hot take. That's my hottest take. See, that's a good thing. That was that they were my like go to. A horse challenge. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that would be a good idea. Uh, were you guys allowed to use a reference, or was it from imagination? Uh, it was from imagination. We had to recall our last horse. Mine wasn't even good. Like, I don't know. I was trying to be too ambitious with mine, and then I got, like, concerned. Oh, even this horse is like... I 
I don't know. It's actually something, though, where whenever I see somebody who can draw, like, a good horse, I have to follow them. Like, I might not like their other art, but if I see that they can draw a good horse, I gotta follow. No, 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 we ain't doing that. I ain't exposing myself like that in front of you guys. You don't want to think about drawing a horse past the silhouette? Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I can't with her. We're, we're, we're done. I don't feel like I can keep going. I have to go to- I have to pee. I have to pee and I can't- I'm not drawing anything good. I probably should just end it here, y'all. Horse girl afraid to draw a horse. No, I'll draw a horse. It's not in front of y'all. <laughs> um, I think we're done. I don't know what y'all think. I don't know if there's anything else I should try and draw or do. I'm almost done with my beer. <sighs> you know, you're doing it? Okay. I'm sorry, 2K. I mean, I, I, I've been sitting here piddling around with the face, not really making any progress. I still have this I gotta do, but I'm gonna just do it later. Um, let's go raid someone. I'm gonna go raid MB, because it's been a hot minute. Okay? Um, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I am doing my Draw This In Your Style challenge over on DeviantArt, so if you have interest in participating, make sure to check it out. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the last little bits of this backdrop, because it's about to disappear. So next time you see it, it will be different. <laughs> all right? Thank you, guys. Um, have a good rest of the day. No, 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 there might be a stream on Saturday, but there will not be one on Thursday. Okay? Let's see. Raid. That's, like, not how you spell raid. And... But yeah, thank you guys again. I really appreciate all y'all hanging out. It's been chill. I've had a good time. Um, and then, again, Happy New Year, y'all. All right, let's set that up. Take care, Hannah Mateo. Yeah, Infusion Tech. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys. No, I may or may not just... I think that's it. I may or may not be back on Saturday, but hopefully I will be. Okay? Um, side news, there may be some changes coming up to um, my Patreon. And... I'm going to be, I posted a new picture on my DeviantArt, if you want to check that out. Those are my thoughts. There's 184. All right, we're going to go raid. Y'all, make sure to go say hi to MB. And thank you guys for watching. And everybody who subscribed, gifted a sub. I appreciate it. Donated. You guys have been amazing. Hot take. Love is over. <laughs> no. All right. Anyway.